All right, so it seems like we are finally at this point. <laughs> uh, we're going today to discover <laughs> new territories, pretty much for me. Uh, we're going to be starting uh, the whole Half-Life, I guess, arc <laughs> on my channel. Uh, because we were going to play Alex uh, in March, obviously, probably just like everyone else, pretty much. Uh, Backstory of mine is that I've never played Half-Life. I've never been like into the Valve games like pretty much at all. Uh, I feel like it's because before VR I was never a fan of first person shooters, never a fan of horror games. I mean, I think we are pretty much clear, <laughs> like we know why I don't like horror games. What the fuck? Oh, shit. But like, you know, for VR, I guess f few things kind of changed for me because nowadays when I play like a shooter, action shooter on VR, I don't really mind it. For some reason, like switching up the technology kind of switched up the preferred game for me. It's a little bit weird, but seems like I w way better excel at like FPSs in VR rather than on Pancake. I feel like it's because I am the shooter, <laughs> I don't know, it's from my psychotic uh, tendencies or something. But yeah, I was never a fan of Half-Life. Like, Half-Life 1 is the game that was released in 1998, which is crazy. I was like three years old then. Uh, for, for example, like even at school, there was Counter Strike, really pop popular, which I think is like a mod that was on Half-Life, something like that, you know. I'm really, like, inexperienced in the whole, um, just whole Half-Life world, Valve, stuff like that, you know. Uh, all right, so Lambda 1 VR is kind of like a, a VR version of Half-Life. Pretty much, I followed every step that uh, people on Reddit had with HD textures, uh, installing that through side quest, everything pretty much is on uh, Reddit and there's a nicely described uh, instruction, which was not really like hard to do. Maybe the whole process took me like about half an hour, which is, uh, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> Jesus, I, <sighs> I don't know what to expect, but for sure audio needs to be done. Thank you. Alright, so let's begin. So, configuration. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Sound interpolation, I have no idea what that mean. And maybe vibration, tracking lost, yeah. Mute when inactive. When games go into background. Okay. It's a modded Half-Life, that's why, on VR, that's why the menu may, might seem a little bit different, see? Uh, from the original Half-Life. Gamma, glare reduction... What the hell is happening there? Comfort vignette, I don't want. High offset, draw simple sky, so FPS... Uh, console... Okay, no, I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> Can I even play multiplayer? I wonder. Maybe people are actually playing Lambda. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna pick difficult because I'm I'm too scared to pick that. I would pick if it would be like an, an virtual RPG game for sure. But I'm not really comfortable and I don't really know anything at all about the Half-Life world, so let's go with medium, you know. Hey, do we have a choice? Uh, I hope everything will work out at the end of the day. Good morning. Oh yeah, this is way better. System. This automated train is provided for the security and I saw some initial textures personnel. and it's way better than before. The time so, it was worth modding. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees. With an estimated uh -huh. high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. What? 
Cool. Yeah. This I think some stuttering will be happening because if you would play original one without no HD textures, it would be pixelated and uh, like you will need to return to the central transit hub in area 9 and board a high security train if you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system you must report to black mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system <coughs> Fuck, stuttering again, hmm. I mean, that's my fault, <laughs> obviously. Whoa. Oh, I can walk, Jesus. I didn't even realize. Whoa. Whoa. In the event of an emergency, passengers are okay. to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. <sighs> Here we go, we're starting. I guess. What the hell is this rail? <laughs> it's too spooky. Come on. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what I am getting into. There's nothing here. Shit. A reminder oh, wait a minute. Gordon Freeman. This evening at Seems familiar from the memes at all. Facility. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, <laughs> brief, brief. may depend on your fitness. Do you have a oh. friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have, the have robots? in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa I feel like he meant Pentagon or something. So this stuttering, I think it's normal. I saw mentioning on Reddit, it's just that the original game was that, actually. So it's just this sequence. screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis Whoa. or radiation checkup um. is for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. What? <laughs> I'm like on roller coaster. depends on it. Now arriving at <clears throat> Sector C test labs and control facilities. <sighs> Finally. Someone's there. <laughs> Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Is that Before fine? Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe oh, shit. and productive day. He's looking at me. What the? Like you're running late. <laughs> Hello. Oh, God. 
impressive for a game before 2000s, to be honest. Whoa! <laughs> uh, hmm, okay. What? <laughs> Why are you turning your head so fast? Jesus. Don't kill me. Jesus. Oh, that's... I oh, know, that's just switching locations. <laughs> Black Mesa Research Facility. Okay. Hello. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Hazard suit? What? So, about the controls, um, I mean, I saw that you can, like, kind of configure it that in the settings, not settings inside the game, like in the files, um, I have a problem with this is snap turning, which usually smooth is the way to go for me. And when you go forward, you go forward to the controller, not as a headset. So when I'll drop off from the game, I'll try to change that. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Is it gonna be actually like each minute or something? It's very weird. Greetings. Hi, Einstein. As I expected. Okay. Do we have a map or something? Uh. No, I mean, no, there's just some basic stuff. Oh, save game? Oh, okay, great. <coughs> but it's not like uh, there's some autosaves. I mean, I'm not even sure if it was a thing back in the day. Oh, there's uh, autosaves. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Fuck. Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Okay. <laughs> good to see you too, I guess. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Oh, shit. So it's not here. God damn it. <laughs> so, each button does do something. Whoa. That's crouching. That's jump. Whoa, that's, that's, odd. that's like pancake vision, okay. <clears throat> Apparently this mod was made purely just by one person, so it's fucking impressive. Am I authorized to go here? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> what, is it this some kind of gym? Hello there. Oh, Freeman. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? This is all Fuck. within theoretical limits. I mean, that's my right. So can I? No, I mean, that's not a suit. So. That shut down procedure chart. <laughs> ah, here. Is it this or? Do I go here? Hmm. The old school games had no instructions or whatever, like that's just how it went down. Huh. Yeah. This case seems familiar. Huh. What would Okay. <laughs> As I expected. Oh, 
Okay, I just need to press a thumb stick to interact with something. Okay. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated atmospheric conditions. That's music though. <laughs> Ah, come on! Ah, that was a shield. Okay, so this is to activate the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> uh, where should I go then? Uh, back, whatever. Go right on through, sir. Looks ah, like you're in the barrel. Thank you. Looks like what? What the hell? Did... <laughs> they had the technology of reading eyes. Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where to go? Where to go? Black Mesa, located in the scenic Black Mesa Desert. So this, it is. Wasn't Black Mesa a location in Counter Strike also? It seems familiar. <coughs> um. Okay. Here. Okay. I feel like I'm in the Matrix or something. It's just taking that far into the past. Uh, well, I guess greetings, I don't know. Jesus, it's a little bit loud here. Do I have... Oh, I have even on the low volume. Wait a minute. I'll switch because that's crazy. Okay. Location switch. There's a lot of location switches. Since like there was nothing like preloaded back in the day, obviously. Mm -hmm. so what's that? Okay. <laughs> Seems like they were ahead of its time. I feel like with the technology concepts. What the? Sure. It's 
too loud here. What the? <laughs> Spinning elevator? Let me still, because it's really loud, bitch. <clears throat> Hello! I'm famous. <laughs> What are you two doing here? We will be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. <laughs> now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. With highly trained professional. That nothing will go wrong. Uh, of course. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well. Go ahead. Let's play him now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The fuck is this chamber? <sighs> Great. That's fantastic. Sure. All right, Gordon. You're so sure to keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti spectrometer to eighty. Oh, like that. Okay. Until the carrier arrives. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Is it like some kind of reactor? I mean, we're in the technology facility, so... I'm not sure if it was a thing back in the day, right? Work? What do I do? The hell? You wanted me to do that. What the? <laughs> Going up. Fuck that. Jesus. What they were testing there? Ow! 
What the? Just ah! Shit! What the fuck? No, 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 no! I'm not playing like that. <laughs> 